bed talk. <laughs> 24. Somebody is not feeling camera shy today, Max. Tell everyone hello. Tell them hi. You don't get Cheetos yet. To tell you the truth, uh, I'm a little bit of a Cheeto hangover from yesterday. So Easter, a little bit of celebrating going on, i.e. eating all of the Cheetos. So healthier day today. I drink all the water, do all the movement, and find all of the vegetables in the house and eat them. Maybe not all of them, because that would make my tummy hurt. I digress. I wanna to talk to you today about the one thing that you have that no one else has, the most valuable thing that you have that no one else has, which is your story. I've said it before and I'm reminding you again because, oh my gosh, if we are not in the process of writing one of the most interesting and epic chapters of our story right now. I mean, we, we are in it. We are in it and we are writing page after page, day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute. Our story is evolving and it's changing and it is filled with all kinds of ups, downs, twists, turns, and you know, like we're laughing in one minute, we're on our office floor taking naps, maybe that's just me, uh, other minutes, we are crying, we are confused, we are setting new goals and learning new languages, or at least some of you are. I am definitely not doing that. There's all kinds of things going on. And the thing about it is that while we are universally, Max, he said he really wants to be on camera today. <laughs> while we're universally experiencing all of this together, your experience is still unique to you. Your story is still unique to you. No one else is going to experience this in the exact same way that you are. No one else is going to have the exact same takeaways from this that you are. And so I want to talk to you. I want to encourage you in this moment to not wait to be sharing your story, to be sharing your experiences with others who can benefit from hearing about what's going on in your life right now. Max really wants to share. <laughs> so I want to encourage you to do that. I want you to encourage, I want to encourage you not to wait for all the things that we typically wait for when we're sharing a story, which is A, I've got to have it all figured out. B, I need to have it all typewritten and perfectly composed and all of the words need to be right. Like, mm -mm, nope. And C, that somehow or another, it's got, it's got to be epic. It's got to be this epic journey um, with, that has some sort of fabulous ending. That's just simply not true. Those are movies and those are books. I'm talking about the real life stories that create impact with people, specifically the people around you who could use your encouragement, your motivation, your perspective on a challenge, hearing about your failures, hearing about your struggles. People who need to hear those types of stories, not I mean, like this, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not talking about doing Harry Potter here. I'm not talking about, I am like dog wrestling today. <laughs> I'm not talking about City of Girls or Eat, Pray, Love. I'm not talking about those kinds of stories. I'm talking about the kind of personal stories that we tell to each other now predominantly over Zoom and phone calls, but the ones that we tell huddled on a couch sipping coffee, the kind of stories that are imperfect, that are winding, that are, that are human. We need more of those stories right now. The most valuable thing that you have right now in this moment is not toilet paper. It's not Cheetos. It's your story. And you can be telling it and you can be sharing it with others right now. And that can make an impact. It can bring light. It can bring laughter. It can bring tears. It can bring comfort. It can bring joy. It can do all of those things. But it can't do that if you're not telling it. So it's Monday. And I'm going to challenge you. I want to challenge you to think about how you could be sharing your story with other people. 
what's going on in your life right now that you know will benefit somebody else and how can you share it? Can you do a Zoom call? Can you do a crazy video with your dog that you're trying to wrestle? Can you write a blog post or just a post on social media? Can you send a text? Pick your poison, Voxer, uh, what's the other one, Marco Polo. What can you do to share a little bit of your story right now that will help someone else? That's my challenge, and I want you to do it, and then I want you to drop it in the comments. I want you to tell me how. I'm going to add a little piece of accountability here because I know you're going to watch this and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, that sounds great, and then not do it and only think about it. So accountability, put it in the comments. Shoot me an email. Send me a text. I'm pretty easy to find if you look for me. <laughs> let me know how you have shared your story today and the impact that it's made okay I, I gotta wrap this up quick because this dog wrestling thing is not working do you see I am hunched like I am breaking every video rule I could possibly break right now so um I am oh my gosh there he is <laughs> I'm wearing my community t-shirt today. I'm waiting for some other t-shirts to come in, but love my community folks. My husband is a community employee and in healthcare, so just sending out all of my love to them. And now, quickly, dogs eating Cheetos. Maybe, perhaps, that uh, this will be, <laughs> this will assuage the beast. Here you go, bud. There we go. My gentle giant. Go share your story. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.